Hi, and welcome to the Health Department Podcast. I am your host, Milan Rotic, and I'm excited and happy to share my passion for natural health and personal health improvement with you. In this episode, I will talk about what is Reiki spiritual healing. But before we dive in, I want to invite you to take your life to the next level and hit the subscribe button now. By subscribing, you will have access to all our past and future episodes and you will be part of our growing community of like-minded individuals who are committed to personal growth and empowerment. Now, let's get started with today's episode. What is Reiki spiritual healing? Reiki is a Japanese technique for stress reduction and relaxation that also promotes healing. It is administrated by the laying of the hands and is based on the idea that an unseen life force energy flows through us and is what causes us to be alive. Reiki treatments can be conducted in the individual session or as a part of a group, in presence or in distance. In the um, description of this uh, podcast, you will find a link for Reiki treatments group membership. This is an amazing opportunity to try Reiki healing. Now, let's see the origin of Reiki and understand the spiritual roots of this healing practice. Reiki is a spiritual healing practice that originated in Japan in the early 20th century. Its founder, Mikao Uzui, was a Japanese Buddhist who developed the practice after a period of intense spiritual seeking and meditation. According to the legend, Uzui received the knowledge and ability to heal through a spiritual experience on the Mount Kurama, a sacred mountain in Japan. Uzui's techniques were based on the belief that healing could be facilitated by channeling ki or life energy through the hands of the practitioner and into the body of the recipient. He developed a system of symbols and hand positions to facilitate this process, which became the foundation of modern Reiki practice. Reiki is often described as a spiritual practice rather than a medical one, as it focuses on the balance and the harmony of the whole person rather than simple treating physical symptoms. Practitioners believe that the working with the energy field of the body, they can promote physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. I am a Reiki master from 2016 and practice Reiki from since 25 years ago. And my experience uh, confirms that uh, Reiki can promote physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. That is an amazing tool in our own hand. Although Reiki has its root in Japanese spiritual practices, it has uh, since been adapted and modified by practitioners all over the world. And there are now many different styles and approaches of Reiki, each with their own unique philosophy and techniques. Despite these differences, however, all Reiki practitioners share a belief in the power of energy healing and the importance of spiritual connection in the healing process. Reiki continues to be a popular and widely practiced form of spiritual healing, with millions of people around the world using it to promote health and wellness is successful. Let's see together the science behind Haiti. Uh, Exploring the connection between energy and healing is the key for understanding the science behind Reiki. Although Reiki is often considered a spiritual practice, there is also a growing body of scientific researches that supports the use of energy healing for promoting physical and emotional well-being. These researches is focused on exploring the relationship between the human energy field and the healing process, as well as the psychological effects of Reiki treatments. One of the main theories behind Reiki is that the human body is surrounded by a field of energy known as the biofield, which is composed of electromagnetic fields produced by the body's cells and tissues. According to Reiki practitioners, this biofield can become blocked or imbalanced due to physical or emotional stress leading to illness or disease. Reiki treatments works by channeling life energy or ki into the body of the recipient in order to promote healing and restore balance to the energy field. 
This energy can be felt as warmth or tiling sensation. It is thought to have a balancing and harmonizing effect on the body and the mind. In recent years, there has been a growing body of scientific research that supports the use of Reiki for promoting health and well-being. Some studies have shown that Reiki can help to reduce stress and anxiety, improve sleep quality, and reduce pain and inflammation in people with chronic conditions. There is also evidence to suggest that Reiki treatments can have a positive effect on the immune system, helping to stimulate the body's natural healing mechanism. This may be due to the fact that the Reiki promotes relaxation and reduces stress, which can have a positive impact on the body's abilities to fight disease and infection. While the exact mechanisms behind Reiki are not yet fully understood, the growing body of scientific research suggests that there is a real connection between energy and healing, and between use energy frequencies to go and heal specific uh, uh, disease frequencies, and that Reiki treatments may be a powerful tool for promoting health and well-being. Now, let's see how Reiki can benefit your mind, body, and spirit. Reiki is an holistic practice um, that uh, really is promote uh, well-being all over the world. And uh, practitioners aim to promote healing and restore balances to the whole person. Let's see in details uh, how, benefit, how Reiki can benefit your mind, body, and spirit. First of all, stress reduction. One of the most well known benefits of Reiki is its ability to reduce stress and promote relaxation. By activating the body natural relaxation response, Reiki can help to lower blood pressure, reduce muscle tensions, and calm the mind. Then, can have a, the pain relief effect. Reiki has been shown to be an effective treatment for reducing pain and inflammation in people with chronic conditions such as arthritis and fibromyalgia. By promoting relaxation and reducing stress, Reiki can help to alleviate physical discomfort and promote healing. Then, it can improve sleep. Reiki has been shown to be an effective treatment for improving sleep quality, particularly in people who suffer from insomnia and other sleep disorders. By promoting relaxation and reducing stress, Reiki can help to improve sleep patterns and promote better overall health. Then, the, it can have incredible effect on emotional healing. Reiki is also believed to be an effective treatment for emotional healing and spiritual growth. By promoting balance and harmony within the energy field, Reiki can help to release emotional blockage and promote a sense of inner peace and well-being. And the last one, but not the less important, Reiki increase energy and vitality. In fact, it's believed that it help boost energy level and promote a sense of vitality and well-being. By promoting balance and harmony within the energy field, Reiki can help to increase vitality and improve overall health and well-being. Overall, Reiki is a powerful tool for promoting health and well-being. It is increased in being recognized as a valuable complementary therapy for a wide range of physical and emotional conditions. Whether you are seeking for relief to pain and stress or looking to promote spiritual growth and emotional healing, Reiki may be a valuable tool for enhancing your overall health and well-being overall. Let's see together what to expect during a Reiki session, a step-by-step -step guide uh, in, in some general uh, macro point. If you are new to Reiki, you may be wondering what to expect during a session. Here is a step-by-step -step, uh, overall uh, overview to help you understand the process. First of all, before the session. Before the session begins, your Reiki practitioner will typically ask you some questions about your health history and any specific partners you may have if he will work with you one-to-one. -one. If you work in the group, Reiki practitioner will, will tell you how he will um, work to promote overall general well-being. And they may also explain the process of Reiki and what you can expect during the session. 
Second, getting comfortable. During the session, you will typically lie down on a massage table or sit comfortable in a chair, and you will remain fully clothed and maybe covered with a blanket or sheet for comfort. When the session begins, the Reiki practitioner will begin placing their hands or on or near your body in a series of hand positions. And these hand positions correspond to different energy centers of, or chakras in the body. The practitioner will typically hold each position for several minutes before moving on the other next. The next step is receiving energy. As the practitioner places the hands on the chakras, they will channel life energy or ki into your body. You may feel a warm or tingling sensation or simply a sense of relaxation and calm, but the Reiki energy will start to work in the balancing, in the balances of your body. So, the closing of the session, once the practitioner can completed the hand position, they may take a few moments to ground and center themselves before ending the session. They may also offer you uh, and uh, advise you to drink some water or tea to help you rehydrate and ground yourself after the session. The post session. After the session, you may feel a sense of relaxation and calm, or you may feel more energized on alert or you may also experience some emotional and physical release as all patterns or blockage are cleared overall reiki sessions are typically very relaxating and renovating and can be a powerful tool for promoting physical and emotional healing while everyone's experience will be unique most people find reiki to be a gentle and effective form of energy healing let's see now together how is and what is reiki treatments Group Reiki treatment is a great way to experience the benefit of this healing practice while being surrounded by like-minded individuals or be in your own home. Group Reiki sessions offer a unique and powerful experience as the energy of each person in the group enhances the overall energy of the session. A Reiki treatment group is a gathering of individuals who come together to receive Reiki healing from a trainer practitioner. These groups can be formal or informal, or may be organized by a Reiki practitioner, a spiritual center, or a community group. During a Reiki treatment group, participants will typically sit or lie down on a mat or blanket, fully clothed, while the Reiki practitioner place their hand or on the near different parts of the body in the place or at a distance. The practitioner will channel the channel the Reiki energy into each participant, promoting relaxation, stress reduction, and healing. In addition to receiving Reiki healing, participants in the Reiki treatment group may also have the opportunity to connect with others and share their experiences. Many people find that attending a Reiki treatment group can be a powerful and transformative experience helping them to release all patterns, promote healing, and deepen their spiritual practices. In particular, my uh, Reiki treatment group uh, uh, distance uh, um, have also a, um, have also a, um, another group on Telegram where participants can speak and talk all together to share their experience and announce the power of Reiki that they receive. That is so amazing experience and so powerful. And Reiki treatment groups may be held regularly, such as one a week or one a month, or may be organized as a one-time level. In my membership, you will have three, um, three sessions per week uh, that you can choose to which participate or, or to all or only one per week or only one every two weeks, how you prefer for each month for only $30. That is an amazing opportunity. And some Reiki treatments group are focused on specific themes such as healing trauma on promoting emotional balance, while others may be more general in nature. We make a mix of all depending on what participants want. 
And here are some reasons why you should consider become a member of a Reiki treatment group. First of all, increased energy and vitality. Group Reiki sessions help to increase the flow of energy throughout the body, leaving you feeling more energized and revitalized. Second, stress belief. Reiki is a great way to reduce stress and promote relaxation. And group session can be especially helpful for those who have a difficult time relaxing on their own. Third, enhance spiritual growth. Reiki treatments can help you to connect with your inner self and promote spiritual growth. Being a member of a group can offer your super encouragement of your spiritual journey. The next one, sense of community. Being part of a Reiki treatment group can provide a sense of belonging and community. You will have the opportunity to connect with like-minded individuals who share a common interest in healing and personal growth. And the last one, cost-effective. Group training session can be more cost effective than individual session. By becoming a member of a group, you will have access to regular Reiki treatments at a discounted price. In particular, to have to give you an example, normal Reiki stretch on one to one costs between fifty and one hundred dollars, and uh, uh, normally in group uh, it costs around forty five dollars per session. I make thirty dollars. Uh, a membership for all the month and you have three sessions per week. That means that if you if you join uh, all the sessions, you pay each session two and half a dollar. That is nothing. Also, if you make one session per month, costs you $30 instead of 40, 50, 60. So that is amazing. In the, in the description of this episode, you have the link uh, and you can join it. In conclusion, Reiki is a powerful form of spiritual healing that has gained a popularity in recent years due to its many benefits for the mind, body, and spirit. Rooted in Japanese tradition, Reiki involves the transfer of life force energy through the hands of the trainer practitioner, promoting relaxation, stress reduction, and healing. And overall, who you are, you can benefit if you are of all age and backgrounds, and it often used as a complementary therapy alongside other forms and conventional medicine. It can help you to promote physical healing, emotional balance, spiritual growth, and can be integrated in your daily life through practicing also life self reiki visualization, and meditation. So, uh, while the science behind Reiki is still being explored, many people have already reported significant improvement in their health and well-being after receiving a Reiki treatment. So, I invite you to try uh, to enjoy it and make it um, really in habits of your daily life because this is really so powerful. So that is all for this episode. I hope that you understand better what is Reiki and how it can help you also at low cost. And if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a review. Tell me your questions. uh, Share it with your friends and family. Your support means the world to me and you can help also other people to have the same information. And also help me to spread my message and empowerment to more possible people. So thank you for listening and see you to the next episode.